Hello, my friends. Dr. Renee Tucker here, back at you with horse health happiness number five, which is horse accessories. All right, so I am going to be talking about the supplements, vaccine, dewormers. I'm not talking about horse accessories like tack, like saddles and bridles and a nice bling and that kind of thing. Not, not fashion accessories, okay? Health accessories. All right, so that's going to be just supplements, vaccines, dewormers, and I'm going to keep this short, and it may be a disappointment. And that's because I've decided that I want to live, yes, yes. So I can only say so many things that's just public and out there on the internet. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but over 50, at least, holistic doctors have been uh, offed, if you will, killed, murdered, by who can say, um, because they're holistic doctors. So I still have kids at home, but what I plan on doing is putting this stuff and what I really want to say behind a paywall. So I'm thinking like a mini short car, short course, like very inexpensive. Um, but if it's behind a paywall, then there's much less likely that I'll be put on a hit list. All right, now, after that really fun news, <laughs> here's what I can say. Okay, first of all, let me just clear this simple stuff up. For vaccines and for dewormers, give the absolute minimum that you can. Minimum. Think, think the most minimum, minimum that you can and do that. I know everyone is in different situations, uh, and you sometimes have to do things that maybe wouldn't be your preference but I'll talk more about that in the course about as much as you can absolute minimum on vaccines and dewormers see I said that would be short okay and then I'm just going to talk for a minute about the supplements really we don't want to have that many supplements okay that should supplement the diet of all grass hay if needed at all Though sometimes there are areas where we just don't have the hay or maybe the soil isn't so good so we're not getting the vitamins that the horse might need or the minerals. Now, I love human minerals because they're human quality and they have better standards and that kind of thing. So I like standard process vitamins and minerals. And I literally, for my clients, um, get for the, they ordered it for themselves the human standard process vitamins. That's the brand name, standard process. I do not know if they ship worldwide. They're a pretty big name in holistic vitamins, probably one of the, the top for sure. So they might. Anyways, I'm going to put a link here to my vitamin page, which is on the website, which explains this. And if you'd like to order them, we can get you signed up for that. Yes, I do get uh, some small commission. Like if you spend a lot of money, I'll get a quarter. <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> just kidding but the reason I like them is because when you get a vitamin from a standard process you just get the vitamin in the horse world somehow we have been conned ladies and gentlemen conned into thinking that we need a bucket full of food because the horses are big but let's see if you look at some of the top expensive vitamins supplements you know what the number one and number two ingredients are well number one is flax seed and flax oil okay flax sounds lovely it sounds great and I know many of us have been possibly on uh, flax oil supplements ourselves turns out when I went to my naturopath I found out flax oil is pseudoestrogenic which means that the body reads it as an estrogen so if you potentially have either a two of much marish in your mare, like you know they're they're merry, <laughs> very squealy and have all the excess mare hormones, that could be it. And if you have a gelding who is just somehow you know too lazy, just too oh yeah yeah I'm just bored all the time. What talking to me? <laughs> Those kind of guys. Maybe <clears throat> they're getting too much of the pseudoestrogen in the flax. But that's the top ingredient in your supposed supplement. 
and this is in many of them I'm sure it's not in every single one of them but these are the ones that I look through that are top name brands the other top ingredient is whey protein that sounds nice I know we like whey protein because it's protein and then you put in a lot of protein shakes for people who work out see the thing is a whey is a byproduct of cheese production which of course cheese comes from milk so why are we giving this to horses they don't need milk they they don't <laughs> so the point is those are all fillers I promise you these really expensive big buckets full of vitamins supposedly and supplements and it all is so well marketed but 80% of that stuff is filler it's just filler and they get the cheapest stuff that they can to fill up your bucket which is whey protein and flaxseed okay so if you try to think about 80% of that bucket being gone and then what's left is supposed to be split up into what 30 days supply maybe 60 days you'd have to of course check your label if you do that it's actually a very small amount very small and so what I do instead of that very small amount is, geez Louise, let's just get human grade vitamins. They're, they're just little, they're little like aspirin tablets and size, aspirin size tablets, they're not aspirin obviously, but about that size and you do uh, three per day. That I have all my suggestions for how much vitamins and minerals are on that vitamin page. Um, but the horse will just lick them right off your hand. It's so cute, they think it's a little treat. So that's much easier and then you don't have to buy these huge buckets and now the shipping is continuously getting more and more expensive so it might be worth uh, you taking a look at that. All right so ideally again we don't need vitamins and minerals or oils and blah blah blah. Occasionally you might. If you want to I recommend standard process. Um, and that's it. That's it. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. Vaccines, dewormers, absolute minimum. Supplements, also absolute minimum. We just need hay and a whole lot of different flavors, if you will, of mixed grass hay. Okay. Talk to you later. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.